What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Ultra Potato back here for another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing top five crucible weapons for Destiny after the April update. So let's get into number five right now. Starting at number five, we have the Badger CCL Vanguard Scout Rifle. You can get this Scout Rifle from Vanguard Packages, and it is the return of the year one Scout Rifle from the Dark Below expansion. This Scout Rifle is a reliable three-shot headshot doing 73 to the head and 49 to the body. It is a very headshot heavy weapon, and if you don't hit headshots, this weapon will definitely backfire, and it will cause you to have an extremely low time to kill with this weapon. Now, the Badger CCL is hard to obtain, but if, if you do obtain it, the Badger CCL is extremely good for those players looking for a more casual experience. I would say the Badger CCL can't compete with stuff like Mida, but it is, it is definitely a starter for people that play casual crucible and are looking for a good weapon to pick up. So that is number five, the Badger CCL. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the Aegis of the Reef Pulse Rifle. This weapon is obtained through Varric's packages when you rank him up through the Prison of Elders or Boundless. This weapon has an extremely fast time to kill and does 25 to the head and 17 to the body. The rate of fire on this pulse rifle is very fast, but it has a lot of stability, so you can counteract that by, hand by its insane handling. This weapon can be used in all sorts of crucible, especially casual. This weapon might be able to compete in the Trials of Osiris, but I have not tested that yet. This weapon is strong at a long range and medium encounters. This weapon is not so good when you're when they're up in your face and very close to you because it has a low hit, hit registration. If you get counterbalance or brace frame on this weapon, that's where it will shine the most. Good luck getting this pulse rifle and I hope you get it through your Varus packages. Coming in at our number three spot, we have the Hung Jury Dead Orbit Scout Rifle. This Scout Rifle is obtained through Dead Orbit packages or you can buy it from his stock. The one before the update was extremely good and had Firefly and Triple Tap, which is the one I am using in the gameplay in the background. This weapon does 61 headshot and I believe 43 body shot. It has a faster time to kill than something such as the Badger, but a slower time to kill than something such as the Mida. This weapon, this weapon is used in Trials of Osiris often and Casual Crucible. This weapon can also be obtained extremely easy and it's a good Crucible weapon for people that with not so good RNG or that don't have much time to play. I recommend you pick up this weapon if you enjoy long range encounters and, and medium ass time to kill. This weapon has a strong point of a long range but can be used at close range if you hit headshots. It cannot compete if you're only hitting body shots because other weapons have a faster time to kill if they hit headshots. Something like Firefly and Outlaw on this weapon could be really good. But I also recommend that you get a reload perk such as Flare Magwell on this weapon because its initial reload speed is pretty slow. Something like Casket Mag or Extended Magazine, I believe it is for Scout Rifles, could also be good for the Hung Jury just because the Hung Jury only has 16 bullets. It's extremely good in PvE, but this is only a PvP cover of the weapon, and I might do a PvE cover in the future. That's the Hung Jury at number two. Coming in at our number two spot, we have the Exotic Hand Cannon, Hawkmoon. This Exotic Hand Cannon is obtained through various ways you get exotic, such as the Weekly Crucible Bounties, Exotic Engrams, or Raids. This weapon has a medium rate of fire, and can be used at close range or medium range. It cannot compete with scout rifles at long range though. This weapon has a moderate time to kill and can either two shot or three shot headshot depending on how many bullets you fire that are lucky. 
This weapon does 59 to the body without the lucky bullet and 72 to the body with the lucky bullet. It also does 88 to the head without a lucky bullet and 104 to 107 damage with the lucky bullet, which is an extreme amount of damage for a headshot with a hand cannon. When this weapon two-shot headshots, it's very strong against other weapons in close quarters combat. I don't have any perk suggestions for this weapon due to it being an exotic, but all I have to say is fire it in a moderate fashion due to its kick and you will be very successful with this weapon. Coming in at our number one spot, I'm sure you guys have all guessed by now, it is the Crucible Pulse Rifle Hawksaw. The Hawksaw is obtained through buying it through the Crucible vendor or getting it through Crucible packages. I recommend that you pick it up through Crucible packages because it has an extremely good roll with counterbalance and I believe another stability perk, but I'm not sure what, what, which one it is. This pulse rifle has an extremely fast time to kill if you hit to the head or the body because it does 17 damage to the body and 25 to the head and has a, a very fast pul pulse rifle rate of fire, especially in its archetype. This weapon can be used in Trials of Osiris and Casual Crucible. I enjoyed this weapon most in Trials of Osiris because it is one of the most competitive weapons in this game and it can kill extremely fast. This weapon has a strong point of close to medium range and there are no perk suggestions for this weapon other than counterbalance and another stability perk. The, other, the third perk you can pick for yourself because it doesn't really matter if you have stability. I recommend the SPO 28 or the SPO 14 sights for this weapon because they are very clear. The SPO 28 is the current sight I'm using in this gameplay. But if you want some more footage of the Hawksaw, be sure to look out for my upcoming video on a full-on review for the Hawksaw. Well, that's number one, the Hawksaw. I hope you guys did enjoy this top, top five crucible weapons for Destiny. And it took me an extremely long time to get all of this footage and edit it out for a small video for you guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And I also will begin, begin to upload Overwatch and more Division content when there's more content to play. Be on the lookout for two more videos coming up in the next two days. I plan to start uploading at least once a week so my channel will have some consistent videos that you can look out for every week. Anyways, that's it for this video you guys. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to come back next time. Bye-bye.